Hi, I am Dr. Kate Campbell, the Director of Pharmacy at Olympia Pharmacy. Today, I am here to walk you through how to administer a subcutaneous injection. Always inspect your medication upon arrival. If you have any questions or concerns, contact the pharmacy or your physician before proceeding. Before we get started, there are a few supplies that will be necessary to give the injection. A prescription label, a vial, alcohol swabs, syringes. The vial label contains essential information, like how to store the drug product, the volume, and the expiration date. If you are ever curious about the storage instructions, please refer to the product label. For questions about this, you can contact us at askthepharmacist at olympiapharmacy.com. When administering a subcutaneous injection, we recommend using a U100 insulin syringe. It should look something like this. Let's review how to read the syringe and ensure you are administering the proper amount of medication. These ticks represent 10 units, 20 units, etc. And these ticks represent 5 units, 15 units, etc. Dosage should be measured with the top part of the syringe stopper. Let's go over what a 10 unit or 0.1 ml injection would look like. When we get to the demonstration, we will go over how to withdraw the medication into your syringe properly. But first, let's review the injection sites. When you're administering a shot subcutaneously, there are three different areas you can choose to do so. One, the upper arm. When administering a shot in the upper arm, you will want to inject the back side of the arm, halfway between the elbow and the shoulder. Two, the belly. When administering a shot in the belly, inject below the ribs and above the hip bones, at least two inches away from the belly button. And lastly, three, the thigh. When administering a shot in the thigh, you will want to inject in the upper portion of the thigh between the front and the outer areas. Now that you know what you need and where you can inject, we're ready to get to removing the cap and get started. If this is the first time you are using your medication, you will need to open the vial. To remove the foil lid from your vial, first locate the perforated ring in the center of the metal vial cap. Next, use your fingernail to loosen and remove the perforated section. Ensure that you only remove the inner foil ring. Wipe the rubber stopper with an alcohol swab prior to use. If you are struggling to open the metal cap, please stop and call the pharmacy at 407 673-2222. Now we are ready to administer the injection. Step one. First off, sanitize the injection site. Take a new alcohol swab and wipe down the injection area. Step two. Load the syringe with the proper amount of medication. You will need to follow the dosing regimen prescribed by your doctor. In this video, we will demonstrate 10 units or 0.1 ml of medication. You will puncture the needle through the exposed gray rubber stopper on the cap. There are a few things to keep in mind. Check the fill volume of the medication. For example, this vial has a 2.5 ml fill volume. For lower fill volumes, you will need to ensure the needle goes deep into the vial in order to make contact with the drug liquid. Keep the vial at a 90 degree angle when withdrawing the liquid. Now that we have the syringe ready, let's prepare the injection site. With your non-dominant hand, gently pinch one to two inches of skin. Make sure you aren't touching the sanitized area. Step three, with your dominant hand, penetrate the injection site at a 90 degree angle using a steady and continuous motion until the entire needle is inserted. Step four, once you've fully inserted the needle, you can now inject the dose. Push down on the syringe's plunger with your thumb until the entire dose is injected. Step five. Now that the dose has been administered, carefully remove the needle. To properly dispose of your needle, discard it into a sharps or safety container. If you do not have one available to you, visit safe.pharmacy slash drug dash disposal. Gently massage the injection site. If bleeding occurs, press gently on the injection site with a new swab for one to two minutes. And that's it. You've successfully administered your medication. 
For dosing recommendations, it is important to abide by your medical provider's instructions. We hope this video has helped you. Thank you for choosing Olympia.